Hey guys, today I'm so excited to talk to you about the Netflix series Arcane. Now this is based off the League of Legends video game and you know there's these champions that gamers love and now we're going to get to dive a lot deeper into some of them and their lives and their pasts, which is really amazing. However, for those who are not a fan of League of Legends or just have literally never played the game and know nothing about it, you can still enjoy this series, I promise. So let's dive into my spoiler-free review of the first four episodes of Arcane. The first three are available now, today, on Netflix, so be sure to check them out. And uh, let's talk about it. Let's get into it. But if this is your first time here, I'd love it if you take one second and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos like this one. Hey, Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Okay guys, so I want to start this off by saying I was lucky enough to chat with the creators uh, of this show as well as much of the voice cast. Uh, those videos are coming up for you later, so if you don't subscribe, be sure to do so and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on all of the amazing conversations that I had. They're going to be going up over the next few days. I promise you, they are so much fun and we dive into some really, really great stuff. But let me tell you about this show. So the first act dropped today. There's three acts, each one with three episodes. So the first one dropped today, and I was lucky enough to see not just the three, but that other one as well. The first one of act two, and I gotta tell you, I am dying for more. It is absolutely destroying me inside that I don't have more, so much so that I've watched the first four all the way through three times now, just to make sure I get a grasp of everything that was going on. I will say, I played League of Legends what feels like a lifetime ago. Then I, you know, life, kids, it, work, just, it, I got away from me. It got away from me. And watching this has made me really, really want to dive back into that world so badly. So if I ever find the time, <laughs> that's funny, if I find the time, if I create the time for myself, this is going to be the top of my list for games to dive back into because I just immediately felt that, um, that world, and I want to say nostalgia, but like I feel like it wasn't that long ago, but maybe it was that long ago. But I just really, really loved the game so much when I did play it. And uh, this gives you just background of these characters, right? You get to get bring voices to these characters and backgrounds to these characters and stories to these characters. And so here's the thing. If you like the game, if you love the game, your chances are you are going to love this series. I mean, the game studio, Riot Games, actually is the one who created this show, which I think is major and really, really important to note that they didn't just sell off licensing to someone else, right? They are the ones who did it. So they have a passion for this. It's very clear. It was very clear in my conversations with, with both the cast and creators uh, that they have a very much a passion for this show. Love this show. Love the script. Love the writing. But let me tell you, one of my favorite things about this is the visuals. This thing is gorgeous. If you guys saw the trailer and my reaction during the ta -dum special, I can't, I can't do it without saying ta -dum. I just, I can't. Uh, I just... Ta -dum. All right, anyways, <laughs> ta -dum. okay, okay, I promise, I'm, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Uh, if you saw it during that, you know it's absolutely gorgeous, but there's a ton of action in here too. And for those who don't know anything and have been purposefully not reading threads and, and trying to figure out stuff, like, there are some major twists that come too, okay? Like, episode four is bananas, all right? that Episode three and then episode four, I was like, glued to the screen. I can't turn away. What is going on? This is crazy. I can't believe they're going here. Oh, they're still going here. Oh, they're continuing this. This is nuts. And then now I'm dying for more. And every single person that I talked to from, from the cast and the creators said, ha! You haven't seen anything yet. Trust me, it gets even crazier. So I'm so excited for what's to come in the future of this. I'm all in. I, I just, I love each and every one of the characters brings something to the table, right? But of course, this ultimately is a story of haves and have nots, okay? You've got Piltover, who, who which is, which is, um, Piltover is the, the rich, the haves, right? And then we've got the underground city of Zahn that is, that is, um, you know, just the have-nots, really, but they but they know how to have fun, right? Uh, like, when talking with the creators, we were joking that, that Zahn is the place you go on the weekends, right? That's where you go on, like, a Friday night, a Saturday night, have a good time, right? Anything goes down there, and, and then it Piltover is the more, you know, put together, but 
it does feel like the people there are a little trapped, right? They're, they're not really allowed to uh, come out of their shells as much maybe as those in Zahn. So there's definitely pros and cons to both sides. And it's that age old story, right? That we get to see of haves and have nots and then, and then families splitting, okay? Like some families going up this way and some going that way. And something we've been dealing with the past couple of years, right? Maybe you think a different way than your friends uh, or your family members and you guys decide to split ways or maybe Two people from opposite sides have to come together to work together towards a common good, right? That's just the, the themes, the underlying themes here. But throughout it, there's also, like I said, tons of action. There's magic. The soundtrack is fire. Wait till you guys hear the theme song. I mean, um, from Imagine Dragons. It's Enemy from Imagine Dragons, but it fits so perfect. The first time I heard that, like, they had, like, you know, the opening scene, yada, yada. And then they dive into the, the title sequence with the theme song. And I was just like, oh yeah, this is it. I'm all in. Like take, like inject this whole thing into my veins. I want this entire series right now. So knowing that I haven't even finished the series, you guys, like this is based off of four episodes. So of course things could go south. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think it's going to be quite the opposite. I think it's going to take an already amazing series and just jump it up a bunch. I mean, there's no real downtime. There's no dragging. I really have literally no complaints about this. And I sat and I really, really thought, is there anything? I mean, maybe that some parts are a little predictable if you know the game. But if you don't know the game, you're going to be like completely blown away, right? Because there's the game and there's all these characters and then there's speculation of certain things. Um, it's so hard to say this without giving spoilers, but you, if you guys will know what I mean, right? League of Legends, massive major fans are going to know certain things that others won't. Does not take away from the show though, because you just, you know, it's going to happen, but that's okay. And then there's also new characters that are completely new from the game, right? They're, they're not included in the game. They're not champions. So, uh, they get to kind of build their own new new character, new essence. And I love that about this. I think it's, it's so great. It's going to be something that fans love. It's going to draw new fans. I mean, like I said, I haven't played League of Legends in years, years, years. And now I'm like, I need to pick up playing again. I have to, I haven't played in so long. Uh, and it, and it's eating me up inside. So I think this is going to bring new people to the game. It's going to bring people who previously played the game and maybe haven't for whatever reason back to the game and it's going to make fans of the game I think extremely extremely happy if you guys have already watched the first act of Arcane just wait till you get to the second one just wait you guys wait till you get to the next episode but let me know your thoughts down below in the comments again guys don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because I have several interviews with the cast as well as the creators coming up over the next couple of days, so you don't want to miss those. There's some really fantastic conversations where we really, really deep dive in. And yes, I ask a couple of them, would they live in Piltover or would they live in Zahn? You guys let me know where you would live down below in the comments and be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Mama's Geeky over there, M-A-M-A-S-G-E-E-K-Y. And remember, Arcane Act 1, available now on Netflix. You guys, you don't want to miss this one. It's amazing. Thank you so much to all of my monetary supporters, my members here on YouTube, as well as my patrons. If you haven't joined yet, please consider doing so. We have some really awesome perks, including a monthly Zoom meeting where we get to talk face to face. Thank you again to everyone who supports me.